Enemy agent turned. Interesting. Maybe we'll put some fighters over there just to give them a hand. Um, right. You lot. Not actually doing an attack against the Dutch. This is purely so I can have planning preparation in place, ready to go. Although, if I were the Dutch, I don't know what I'd be thinking about that. <laughs> I would probably be thinking, this is fine. And Belgium is being bombed. Um, let's take these guys. And protect Belgium. We are at some point going to need to grab all of the Close air support to fly in support of this, but yeah, Britain's down to just a single barrel of oil. All of my tank divisions are almost back. And how are the Soviets looking in terms of air power now? Just out of interest. Um, I mean, they still have like 9,000. And we still have like 5,000. Oh, we're actually catching them. Okay. Sweet. So my higher quality aircraft are paying off a little bit. A little bit. Okay, how long? Another month. Could train the Marines, that's true. Right. Yeah, good point. Although they are still woefully under-equipped. That was the main reason I wasn't training them, is because I didn't want them to use their equipment up. That stuff's rare. You mean you're actually expecting me to give you rubber dinghies and things like that? For an amphibious landing? Don't be insane. Romania has more oil available to sell me. That would be lovely. Try to regain some of my stocks. Oh. <laughs> the air situation seems to have changed. Somewhat. Double check that all of these guys are actually flying. What are you? You guys are tactical bombers, right? Yeah. Okay, so that was the multi roll tech. Let's get the next multi roll. Because it looks like we'll be going down that line next. Like this is the calm before the storm. Hey, factories. 
I feel like... I need more anti-tank. Ooh, these are 81s. I definitely need something better than that. Um, yeah, so considering how well I thought I was doing on technology at the start of the game, I feel like I'm really fine, far behind now. I've been short on horse transports for a long time. I'm more worried about the anti-tanks. Because the, uh, the Soviets are starting to really ramp up their tank production. We only have 50% of our stockpile. Oh no, that's fuel. Never mind. I think I am going to go and buy another set of rubber. Just to make sure that I keep my production nice and high. In tip-top working condition. And then build me a bunch of military factories. In Berlin. Huzzah! Because that's where my factories are. What mod is this? Black Ice. Mein Führer, the Marines have taken London. What? I thought they were still in training. Well, it seems their orders somehow changed from pretend to capture the British capital to remove the pretend part. I mean, that's basically what's going to be happening in 22 days. Plus however long it takes them to actually... finish the, uh, the, the plan. Is it over 100,000? Probably. Nope. 96,000 manpower in the last 12 months. Oh, we're catching their submarines. Slowly but surely. We're up to 81% efficiency now as well. Oh, right. This is prior to my... Whoops. No, I don't want any naval invasion supports. What? And automatic reinforce. Please don't be recruiting destroyers. That would be great. Okay. Was the close air support? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was that one. Which is what we were working on to get the transport. So we do need that one as well. And then we can upgrade the light bomber, which we were producing with a singular factory. Carry on. Nineteen days. Oh, captured. Oh, you know what the other thing I should do, actually? Is prepare a collaboration government in Britain.
if I can get that done in time. Though, before the Brits capitulate, somewhat doubt it, but hey, we can try. How are we doing in terms of fighter losses at this point? 224, I mean, that's actually staying roughly the same as what it's always been. The areas where we're trying to defend I'm only going to do defensive flying. I'm not going to do offensive. See how this works. Kummersdorf testing grounds is done. We're sinking a lot of stuff. That's not what I was looking for. This is. Uh, we could go for the tiger research. We can go for the panther research. And you know what? I think the panther research would be a good one to get for the future. So we can get the more modern versions. And we have this new research slot, which is tanks. And with that, I think I might get the... Oh, we basically said we weren't going to bother with the Panzer threes anymore. We could go for Tigers, but I feel like Tigers are going to be too expensive. Hello, you are from Berlin. Hello. And you are another one that's in an offensive area. We're going to pull all of the poor recon planes back because they have been shot to pieces. Oh, these are all fighters that are just sitting here doing nothing at the moment. Um, let's bring you into that fight. Let's bring you lot into Lithuania. Lithuania has actually been a relatively okay place for us to take to the skies. And you just guard Transylvania. I'm trying to even the, the matches here. You know what, Lithuania is too much of an offensive location, so let's go and guard East Prussia, because it looks like they're trying to bomb me here. And I don't appreciate that. The more of this I can get is just green, where we're actually contending the air, is areas that will be shooting people down. And the more I'm shooting them down, the closer this air race gets. And as long as I'm shooting a lot more of them down than they are of me, which you do especially in defensive air battles, the better. Zero to three. That's the kind of ratios I like to see. I feel like I've got too many here now. 
Uh, what are you not doing? You're not... Oh, you're close air support. You come over here. So I feel like I can grab, say, two of you. Put you in Hungary. See, they're trying to bomb stuff behind my lines here, which is fine, I guess, for now. I mean, eventually I will be wholesale removing my aircraft from this zone so that we can put a more stringent line of defense down. As of now, you're able to build the SS Ponza Grenadier units for the SS. And there we go. Cool. Um, new tech. There was another all-purpose technology which I was thinking that I needed to get. What was it? Guns? Radio? Oh, it was AT. It was AT. Um, which is... Over here. Oh man, yeah I am. Quite far behind the times on these. Let's get that going. Does the speed of the arrows above the operatives indicate something? No, I don't think so. That's above the attack plans, not the operatives. Are you saying operations? Hang on. Maybe I misread that. Oh, come on. Sometimes chat just does not want to scroll. Like today. Above the operatives? Nothing. Above, like, missions? Yeah, you said that. Okay. You meant the operative. No, I don't think so. Uh, if it does, I have not noticed. Maybe how effective their mission is in terms of efficiency, possibly? Alright, how are we doing with the naval invasion research? Eight days remaining. And we have something which is obsolete, which is the... Oh yeah, mechanized. Definitely want those upgraded. That's going to make a very, very big difference, I suspect. Why are some of them going haywire? No idea. I will admit, when it comes to this game, the area which I know the least is operations. It just hasn't really interested me. I know a fair amount about Intel and gathering Intel because I love the Intel tabs. These are fantastic. But in terms of actually doing operations, no idea. How is the United States doing in terms of convoys? They are building quite a few new ones. I'm getting quite a few of them caught too. Uh, Japan, how are you doing against China? Pretty much a stalemate there. I think you are making progress against India though, slowly but surely. Sinking more subs. Oh, you know what I should do? I have my recon planes hiding over here somewhere. I should probably put them just over the Baltic. Because recon planes help significantly for submarine detection, intel efficiency. More factories, what do we need? Um, I think 
I'm going to go with more AT, honestly. Oh, handheld anti-tank we have loads of. It's the positioned anti-tank that we don't. Alright, fine. We'll go with more horse transports. Because we are legit sh short on those. Alright, what did we just get? Was that naval invasions? No, it was an industry. Ah, recruitable population and factory construction. Division attrition reduction would also be flipping amazing. We need to get basically all three of those. Alright. Four days! Four more days, then I can add another four units to this naval invasion. Meanwhile, the skies over Belgium are buzzing. So let's send them a couple more reinforcements. Skies over all of this is... Yellow. But we're going to increase the ground crews where it is yellow. Because we do actually have a lot of command points. Because earlier in the game, I was investing quite heavily in command training. And that does seem to be paying off to an extent now. There's a close air support. Unfortunately, that does mean that Berlin is being bombed. And I can get another of these heavy aircraft manufacturer I haven't bothered. Uh, what about radio producer? Radio tech goes faster. Computing tech, I think we've already finished. No, you know what? I'm going to go for more war support. Let's get some more war propaganda going. See if we can actually get the uh, Sports Palast speech done. Sindrin! They say the Italians invented the pizza, but little known fact is the recipe was perfected by the French rebels in Nazi-occupied France. It was the Piazza de Resistance. <laughs> okay, that was good. I was the other day, but you might have missed it. Uh, with the use of experience to get doctrines now, do you think we'll put a lot of strain on experience? It seems like the early game doctrines will be useless. Um, yeah, I think that experience is now going to be way more important. Which honestly I think is a good thing. I wonder if they're removing experience from unit, uh, division design. That would make sense to me. I, I never liked the fact that you had to spend experience on unit divisions. Just make your sorting divisions. It's way more interesting. And there it is, the improved landing craft. So one, two... Three, four, five, six. So we'll put two more of you there. One more of you there. One more of you there. And then that should be all of you done. And you lot should 100% be here in Dunkirk. I did not realise that you were not. Okay. New naval tech. If I could select the technologies. Come on. Sometimes it's a bit slow to respond. So we can upgrade Naval Invasion one more time, and I think I will. I'm not going to wait for that one to complete, but if this Naval Invasion fails, then we will have a new way of doing it in the future with more troops. How many divisions does the UK have? A lot. Hopefully most of them are starving in North Africa right now. Soviet's doing a couple of probing attacks, but nothing catastrophic as yet. And here we go. Muddy season is approaching rapidly. So I'm going to stop you drilling. Oh man, you're already ready for this offensive. Schwerpunkt. That's going to help my tank division attack. And... Ah, oh, yeah, that was an offensive doctrine. We can get this one. Whoa! Kempfgripper. That is a big buff. Planning speed plus 20% as well. Do you know what? I'm going to wait a couple of days. See if we can get the experience to 100. Might happen. 
More duty hurting the air war by giving the fighters two missions. They suffer 30% reduction in efficiency. Put them on two missions. Yeah, I know. It's just one of the things I cannot be bothered to micromanage. So, I don't. I am, I, I am aware. Like, if you give aircraft more than one mission, then they do tend to suck at it. But we are getting bombed heavily. This is something that doesn't tend to happen against the AI. Uh, clearly, the air AI in Black Ice is more bombing crazy. Actually, the top four units are almost fully equipped. That's good. I think they're the ones hitting Dover proper. So we'll see if we can get a, a breakthrough. Lady Aniko, Anthony, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Uh, Alarmis wants me to drink some tea. And Pozenik, coming in with a 47 month resubscription. You are just one month away from being the first person with four years subscription, which is amazing. Thank you so much for the ongoing support through all of this time, Pozenik. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Just one more month. That's mental. Four years, basically. Anniversary since I became an affiliate on Twitch. Couldn't tell you how long I've been a partner now, though. Oh my god, another woman. Yeah, possibly. No, I definitely want more women following games. It, it's a good thing. There are too few of us. Oh, there are a few of you. Yeah. Nah, always, always welcome. It's it's so depressing. Like looking at the uh, demographics on YouTube, it's like ninety eight percent male, two percent female, because women just haven't been historically that interested in grand strategy games. Thank goodness that's increasing. Like, if I did more Crusader Kings and the like, I think that that demographic would shift as opposed to, you know, focusing on Hearts of Iron. Um, but welcome. Hey, 100%. I knew that was going to be worth waiting for. Now I can do this and get that in just half the time. Perfection. And there we go. Everyone has arrived. So I believe it is time for us to unleash hell. Very, very soon. Because what I need to do is gain supremacy over those regions. And by bringing all of my cruisers back home, I am hoping I can achieve that. And I'm also going to grab my es escorts and you lot are going to be on escort duty in here and then we're going to bring all of the tactical bombers which for a while now have been not doing a huge amount and we're going to deploy you lot back there and start you bombing their ships In fact, let's just keep you here. And then we're going to need some fighters. Um, I've got to keep the air war going over. Over against the Soviets. But once the naval invasion actually begins, I think we can start thinking about shifting some further units to this area. Just need to wait until the boats get home. <laughs> 